Just how accurate is the Garmin R10? Let's go find out. Oh, it's a long way left. Right, I'm at the driving range. I've got my Garmin R10 and I'm going to test it against the real life ball flight of my balls at the range. We're going to see if the Garmin R10 actually picks it up accurately or not. I've got my R10 over here. Now it's not actually on the same level as my hitting mat. And I have read that if you put the Garmin R10 on top of the case, uh, you get more accurate readings. So I'm going to try that now and see if it works. Let me calibrate. And alive. Right, okey smokey. I'm about seven feet away from the R10. I've got my screen recording on. We're starting with the pitching wedge and I'm aiming just to the right of this little trampoline that's in front of me. So that's a little bit right of the centre line. Four yards right, I'll take that. That's a good start. Again, straight over that flag stick. Yep, that's a few yards left in real life. Only a few yards left in real life. Three yards left on the R10. That's pretty accurate. Take that. That's right. That's a fair few yards right, that. That's righter than the 150 marker. It's picked up that it's gone right. It said it's gone 12 yards right. I'm not having that. It's more than 12 yards right, that. Oh, that's bang down the middle, that. If anything, it's slightly left, and it's saying two yards right. Not bad. It was slightly left of the flag stick in real life. It said slightly right of centre on the Garmin app. I mean, there's not a lot of difference in that. Again, that's bang down the middle. If anything, it's ever so slightly left. And that's saying it's gone five yards right this time. It's not five yards right, that. It's down the middle, ever so slightly left. Now that one's slightly right. I'd say that's about five yards right. Oh, that's good, it's picked it up six yards right. Not bad with the seven iron. Oh man, that's quite a long way left of that 200 marker. So it should be a long way left on there, yeah. 29 yards left, I'd say it probably more than 29 yards left in real life, to be honest. That is faded to the right, it's not far right. And that's, I'd say that's picked it up nice and accurately there. 11 yards right, might have been a few more than 11 yards right in real life, but shot shape, beautiful. Pretty impressed so far, since it's been on top of that carry case. Oh, it's a long way left. Like, a long way left. 31 yards left. Not bad, I'd say it probably went a bit more than 31 yards left. But yeah, not bad. Do you know what, on the whole, that was pretty good. Um, I'm quite impressed with the Garmin R10, especially when I sat it on top of the carry case because I'd read that the PGA at the PGA show this year that the R10 reps were doing that, they were sitting on top of the carry case and it definitely improved the accuracy a little bit, I would say. So yeah, on the whole, very impressed. Um, was it perfect? No, it didn't pick up, I would say, the deviation left and right as much as what it was in real life, but generally the ball flight that the Garmin picked up was pretty much spot on, I'd say. I've done a similar test to this with my Skytrack unit um, and I'll link that video at the end of this one. I can say the Skytrack was a, a bit more accurate than the R10 in terms of following the real life ball flight. But yeah, on the whole, I can't really grumble. Would I recommend getting a Garmin R10? If I'm starting out and looking, if I'm starting out with golf and looking to improve my game, then yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't. For 500 quid, it's not bad. For a 5% discount, head over to the Golf Swing Systems website and use the code HANDICAP5 at the checkout. I'll pop a link to that website in the description below. If you're getting value out of this video, then please support the channel by hitting that like button and subscribing to Handicap Golf.